What is going on guys? My name is Tyler and welcome back to the channel. So like the title of this video does say, we're going to be talking about the margin call for tomorrow and we're looking at about a 10 billion dollar margin call from my calculations which is about half the total value of amc as a business so let's go over that situation as well as just break down how we know margin calls are coming how margin actually does work and break it down for you guys in a simple way to understand i'm not sure if a lot of you guys have actually used margin or have been close to margin calls yourself so it's very important to understand what is going on with this margin call situation in general so drop that like on the video subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified in real time when these videos are uploaded also make sure to comment down below let me know what you think about this 10 billion dollar margin call that is coming tomorrow morning at 10 a.m so briefly guys just to go over what we did say in last video i did acknowledge the fact that today was likely just to be a consolidation day probably go up or down one to three percent that is exactly what did happen literally in the middle of of my expectations going up 1.58 percent in the day now we're not going to really be going over the ortex data stonko tracker data any of that that we typically do do in most videos we're going to be doing that in a follow-up video so stay tuned for that make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have that notification bell turned on so you guys will be notified when that video does come out it is going to be a very important one as well but let's mainly just talk about margin and margin calls and really this 10 billion dollar margin call that is going to be going out, out at 10 a.m tomorrow so i'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with this if you are a new ape then definitely pay attention to this this is the nscc 005 this was actually approved on august 11 2021 but now it is becoming effective tomorrow that is friday september the third so we're gonna read this paragraph that is boxed in red so it says nscc is providing this notice to its members of the implementation and effective date september 3rd 2021 2021. On the morning of the effective date, members with a fund deposit below 250000 will incur a deficit that will require funding by 10 a.m. Eastern time, so about 30 minutes after market does open. So they're going to be pretty fast to get these margin calls out that will actually need to be funded right away just to clear on their transactions. Now, let's talk about this 10 billion dollar margin call situation so if you just google how many members are a part of nscc this says nscc has roughly 4,000 participants not accounts you guys have to remember when we're talking about NSCC 2021-005. This is for each individual account. So this is the only variable, obviously, that we don't know. And what I did in my calculation was essentially taking this $4,000 or 4,000 participants and just saying on average, they probably have about 10 accounts a piece. Obviously, some have a little bit less. Some have way more than that. Obviously, like the large banks, they have way more accounts than 10 with the NSCC. But on average, I think it's a safe estimate to do 10 accounts per participant. If we have 4,000 participants, let's go ahead to the calculator. Let's do 4,000 participants times 10. Obviously, comes out to 40 thousand and then if we times this by two hundred and forty thousand because that is essentially going from obviously their uh, already required deposits for their accounts at ten thousand dollars bringing that up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars so each account they would have to deposit two hundred and forty thousand dollars so when we do that calculation, that is where we come out to precisely $9,600,000,000. So we're looking at close to $10 billion. It may be more than $10 billion. It may be closer to even $15 or $20 billion, but we are talking about the overall stock market. But as we do know, hedge funds and institutions in AMC stock are severely over leveraged and the overall market itself is severely over leveraged. We see this because of of the margin statistics that are reported to FINRA. And actually from June, we had almost $900 billion in margin debt. That did come down about $40 billion in uh, July. So now as far as the last numbers that we did get, we are at $844 billion, $324 million for total margin debt in the US stock market. This is only for the US stock market. Now for August, the numbers have not came out yet. That will probably happen. Uh, it does look like every 
on the 21st of every month. So September 21st, we should be getting the new margin updates. But obviously, we're going to have had a lot of action with AMC stock by then, potentially a major gamma squeeze by then. So these are the best numbers we can go off of. But what this is telling you is the markets are severely over leveraged. This is over double where we were at before the 2008 global financial crisis. So right here just tells you a big red flag, even going from you know the beginning of 2020 only at about $500 billion in margin debt. So we have went up about 40 to 45% on total margin debt just in the last 18 months with all of this money pumped into the economy. Now, let's circle back to AMC. As we do know, hedge funds and institutions, they control... If I were to imagine about 85, 90, or even 95% of this margin debt that uh, that is outstanding, but they do have ways of disguising some of their margin debts by just using collateral on top of collateral like we did see with the Archego situation. So you guys have to be uh, keep in mind that this update that is coming uh actually, I should say, implementation of NSCC 005, that is for all accounts in the overall stock market. So it's not directly pertained to AMC stock, but with the hedge funds and institutions being severely over leveraged and us having a very important jobs report coming out tomorrow, which we will talk about in one second. If this jobs, jobs report does actually create some bearish downtrend, uh, we could actually see a lot of shorts in AMC being forced to cover. Now, how does this work? If you guys are unfamiliar of how margin does work, let's say you have an account, right? With $10,000 worth of stock and options and you go 100% into margin. So you take on $10,000 of margin debt. You have a account worth $10,000. Well, now you have an account that controls $20,000, but you still only have $10,000 because no matter what happens with your original $10,000, you still have to pay back the $10,000 of margin debt. Now, what happens if your account goes down 50%, not the margin debt, but if your account goes down 50%, now it does vary for hedge funds, institutions, or just different assets, right? Safer assets, you're gonna have more of a cushion. Riskier assets, they're gonna be a little bit faster to give you margin calls. But let's just say your account now goes from $10,000 down to $5,000. You're still going to control $15,000 worth of buying power because that $10,000 worth of margin, but your actual account went down $5,000. That is where you're going to get margin called. So it doesn't matter necessarily how much margin you have outstanding. It matters how much collateral and how much actual equity you have in your overall portfolio. So it's going to be very important to see what does happen with the overall markets. As we do know, we are due for some level of correction to happen. And also, we do know AMC has a negative beta of 4.61%. So let's say on average, if the stock market is down 1%, AMC on average will be up 4.6%. That is only an average. Not every single time it's going to work out that way, but that is what AMC has statistically been doing. So when we do uh, come close to this market crash or correction, which a lot of people have been speculating is going to happen by the end of the year. I'm not a genie. I don't know. Sometime in 2022, at the very least, we're going to see some level of correction. There's no telling how long the AMC short squeeze will last. So I'm sure we'll still be in the same situation, hopefully a little bit higher of the share price for AMC stock. But nevertheless, when that time does come, you're going to see the hedge funds and institutions collateral and their equities in their accounts dramatically go down, especially if they are severely over leveraged, like we do see with the margin debt being so high, going to be very prone for these margin calls. And what essentially happens, you have your safest assets, you have your Amazon, Google, treasury bonds, all of these safe companies and assets, you have your middle range, right? Stocks that can move up and down, I would say Lucid Motors, I would say, uh, you know, diff different stocks, right? It's it's hard to just say off top what different stocks would be in what groups, but you guys generally understand what I am saying, right? You have that middle category, and then you have the far side, which would be risky assets, AMC, GameStop. A lot of these other short squeeze trades are very risky. Now, if you are on the back end of these trades, you are exposed to essentially unlimited risk. So when you see your safe collateral going down and you are losing money on your long positions, if you are a hedge fund or institution, then you're going to essentially be forced to cover on your riskiest positions first. So this is only a time of up, time is of the essence thing. 
it, it, it could be a while. It could happen tomorrow. We just simply never know. But that is the situation about the margin calls and the $10 billion margin call that is going to be happening tomorrow. Could be even bigger than that. I think I went pretty conservative on my numbers estimates. Now, let's get into the job re jobs report that is expected to happen or is going to happen tomorrow and what is expected as far as the number of jobs created. So, analysts are expecting 720,000 jobs were created in August. Now, it says in quotes, I think the risks are very much to the downside. One strategist said, I'm not sure how much we're factoring in the impacts of Delta. Now, there's only a couple of very, very important things that I do want to point out here. It says the unemployment rate is expected to have slipped to 5.2% from 5.4% and average hourly earnings are forecast to have risen by 0.3% or 4% on an annual basis. So that is not too very important. But uh, take a look at this. Let's just see right here. It says in quotes, if you get a number that doesn't meet expectations, say 500,000 instead of 735,000, to me that rules out a taper announcement in September, which is still consistent with the message Fed Chairman Jerome Powell gave in Jackson Hole, Farage said. So essentially, if the jobs report actually comes in low, you could see the markets rally off of that because you're not going to be seeing the odds of tapering coming anytime soon. It's going to kick the can down the road. Now, that is not going to make the shorts cover, but if these numbers do come on expectations or even higher than expectations, you can see an adverse effect by market makers, market participants trying to price in when taper. Taper talks will actually start likely in September at that point. So definitely a very important day tomorrow overall for amc the overall stock market margin calls and these job numbers so that is the situation you guys need to know and be made aware about so drop that like on the video subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell all of that good stuff you guys already know let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this 10 billion dollar margin call what you think is going to happen tomorrow we're going to be going over my expectations and all of the data you guys need to know in a follow-up video so the last thing you guys need to know is there is four links Links link down below in the description. There is a free AMC Discord chat. Definitely check that out where we talk about AMC all day long. Also, check out the link for the buy and sell alerts. It literally pays for itself. And we have hit monstrous trades over the last week that would pay for your account for years into the future. So definitely check that out as well. There's also a link down below for Webull. I know you guys are gonna get mad at me. They do use payment for order flow, not nearly as much as Robinhood, but there is a setting in Webull where you can turn off the availability for Webull to lend out your shares to other hedge funds, institutions, or brokers. So that is why I do have that link. Deposit $100 using that link. Get up to get up to $2,400 in free stock. Also, a link for public. Get up to $70 in your choice free stock. It only takes about three minutes time to sign up and get your free stock. No need to link a bank account or deposit a single dollar. So that is all for this video. I just want to say I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you for all the support on this channel and AMC to the moon baby but that is all for this video i will see you guys in the next one